submitted your orders regarding the temporary orders. So, on the uh, Hudson case? Yes, yeah. on the Hudson matter. So I do have the order regarding adequate cause. I noted in the adequate cause order as well that the petitioner father has notified the court that he plans to file his own petition. So I did note that in the order. However, you still need to proceed with your own uh, cross petition if you wish to do that. Um, but I did note it in the order that it was uh, that that was uh, notified today that he will be filing his own petition for modification for the parenting plan, and that the parties were re referred or advised to advised to go to the uh, family court service or facilitators if you have questions and referred to Family Court Services for the parenting plan evaluation. I've also added in the temporary restraints that the party should not discuss the issues with the children. Don't discuss allegations. Don't discuss the custody issues with the children. Uh, you're restrained from doing so. Don't disparage the other parent in front of or to the children, so no disparaging remarks. Uh, if you feel the need to talk about the other person, go somewhere else, but don't do it in front of the children or around the children, okay? Sign the orders. I'll ask you each to sign off on the different orders you choose not to sign, they'll still be in effect. However, the temporary restraints that were listed uh, are mutual restraints, though the two of you are restrained from disturbing the peace of the other party. You are also both restrained from removing the children from the state of Washington, absent written notice for approved vacation allowed under the parenting plan. You're to follow the final parenting plan previously entered, except as modified in this order, which required that the parties should not discuss the issues with the children and that each party would be responsible for picking up the children at the residence of the other party for visitation. The father should pick up at the beginning of the visit and the mother to pick up the children at the end of the visit. And the father must provide a correct physical address for the residence or visitation may be canceled and rescheduled, so you have to provide the physical evidence, and you've stated here today that the address that you listed is the one that sh you, she will be picking up the children from. Yes, Your Honor, okay. she has that info. You um, need to understand that if there's any conflict in schedule or an emergency situation that comes up which requires a visitation to be changed, you should notify the other party within 24 hours written notice to be made up, otherwise the visit does not need to be rescheduled. So if there's a problem with the visitation schedule, you have a, have to go out of town or something else just notify in writing and then you should be rescheduling the visit okay parties should not approach each other during the visitation exchange children should be sent out to meet the parent at the car while the other parent is, or designated third party remains at the residence entrance father should not take the children to medical exams absent advance notice to the mother if there's an emergency care only so you have to give 24 hours advance notice if you're taking them into the hospital for emergency care only. So you have to notify the mother. Otherwise, the mother should be uh, responsible for medical care because at this point she's the custodial parent, so she'll be setting up the vis uh, medical, regular medical, and you should just notify the father of those and per the parenting plan. So those are the restraints that are in effect. Your parenting evaluation will be uh, set up and you need to follow through with filing the paperwork for the parenting plan evaluation and schedule your appointments with the facilitators. If you fail to follow through, you get notified that your case is being closed and you will not have the, you will likely get one opportunity to reschedule, but I urge you to get it done sooner rather than later so that you can get the evaluation hopefully within 60 days. So we have to, um, you're saying we have to do the, what about the children again? That's not what I'm addressing. This is a full investigation with social workers. Okay. Okay, so this is through Family Court Services. They'll, you have to fill out a questionnaire. You'll have to set up appointments for investigation. They will contact third parties that you give them notice who you want them to contact. They'll do a full investigation to determine whether there need to be restrictions on either of you. Is that in the building here? Uh, yes, you'll get information on that for the um, 
Your Honor, who pays for these evaluations or, or what's the cost? I think they have a sliding fee scale and they address it with you. Okay, so that will conclude this matter. The parties can get a copy of the orders. I do need you both to sign off though on the restraining order to show that you had notice of the restraints. Okay, so then we'll bring up the